Hello, I'm Jeff Dalton, and thank you for having me today. You know, when I wrote this book, Great Big Agile, an Operating System for Agile Leaders, it was because I had observed and assessed more than 200 companies, and I really didn't like what I saw. A lot of companies said they were adopting Agile, but they weren't really adopting Agile. They were adopting Scrum or extreme programming. So the first thing I wanna to say to you is that just because we adopt Scrum, Safe, Less, or extreme programming or Kanban doesn't mean that we're Agile. It just means we're adopting a technique and there's nothing wrong with adopting techniques, but in order to get to the real benefit of Agile, a high trust, collaborative, transparent, and powerful organization that works together to bring greater success to our customers. In order to do that, we have to change our culture. And the culture is managed by the leaders of an organization. One of the common threads I saw after assessing more than 200 companies when I was researching the book was that the leaders of companies that said they were agile weren't agile themselves. And this is really important because without agile leadership, we can't be agile and we can't be successful. Most organizations go through an agile transformation in the wrong way. They start at the end. They take a scrum team, they give them a project and they run sprints, they do sprint planning, they do sprint demos, and they do many of the things that you would see agile teams doing. Unfortunately, as they connect and interface with other parts of the organization, they get frustrated and they find roadblocks and they find out reasons why they can't be successful. That's because the company isn't agile, just the development team is trying to be agile. Now, agile leaders are the only ones that can fix this problem. A chief executive officer, a chief information officer, a president, a director, a vice president, a manager of technology are the only people that can solve this problem. And in order to do this, they need to do four things before you bring in your first agile coach or start running your first scrum project. First, they have to set an agile vision for the organization. This lays out what an organization might look like when it's more agile, it's more self-organizing, it has more self-governance, it has much more of an adherence to agile values, it fails fast is okay, collaboration is good, transparency and close working with our customers are all things that are part of the vision of an agile organization. And until we set that vision and make it clear to all of the team members that that is what is expected to work at this company, will never ever be an Agile company. Second thing Agile leaders need to do is set and communicate the values. Now we all know about the Agile values, fail fast, transparency, collaboration, visibility, high trust being the most important one. They're all laid out in the Agile principles or in the Agile manifesto or in the Scrum core values. And these are all things that most of us are familiar with, but does your organization really reflect those values? Most of the companies I've talked to don't feel like they work in a high trust, high collaborative, transparent and visible environment. And those things are critical to being an agile team because without them, teams are worrying about the wrong things and they can't be successful. The third thing that agile leaders need to do is enable and empower their teams. And by that I mean provision them with the things they need to be successful so that they can be agile. This includes protecting them from customers who are demanding new stories be inserted within every sprint. It includes co-location of teams, automated tools, training for the people that need to participate on Agile teams, and all the other things that are required in order for teams to be successful. Only a leader can provide those things, and they need to do that before your first Scrum team starts operating. And finally, the fourth thing that an Agile leader must do is regularly engage with their teams. In the old days, uh, vice presidents and chief information officers would just sit in their offices and go to meetings with other senior executives and rarely engage with their Agile teams. But a true Agile leader is a servant leader. It's one who is always asking their teams what it is they need, how they can help them be more successful, and what needs to change in the organization to improve performance. So an Agile leader regularly engages with their team and doesn't stay in his or her own office. So as you can see that all of these things need to happen before we bring in an Agile coach, before we conduct Scrum training, and before we start running our first Agile project. Because if we start at the end, 
we'll never be successful and we'll just be frustrated. So read more about it in my book, Great Big Agile, a guide, uh, an operating system for agile leaders and have a great conference. Thanks for inviting me. Bye-bye.